product to sum and sum to product formulas. Here are the product to sum formulas. Let's see how they work. Express the following product as a sum containing sines or cosines only. So we have the sine of 82.5 degrees, cosine 37.5 degrees. So this is the formula we're going to use. Now all I did was alpha is 82.5 and beta is 37.5, so I just substituted those into the formula. And it turns out we have 1 half times the sine of 120 degrees plus the sine of 45 degrees. Well with this one we can go a little further because we know what the sine of 120 degrees is and the sine of 45 degrees. And as we continue, it turns out that the answer for this one is the square root of 3 plus the square root of 2 all over 4. I'd like you to try this one. Press pause, use the correct formula, and play to check your answer. Express the following product as a sum containing only sines or cosines. So for this one, we're going to use the formula that has sine times cosine. Once again, I substituted in alpha and beta, and I continued to solve. Now you notice that I have plus the sine of negative 6 theta. Remember that negative sine theta is the same thing as sine of negative theta. So that's why I changed it from plus sine of negative 6 theta to minus sine of 6 theta. And this turns out to be our answer. Sum to product formulas. And let's see how these are used. Express each sum or difference as a product of the sines and our cosines. So here's the formula we're going to use. Once again, we're going to substitute in alpha and beta into our formula. And this is what we get for our solution. Once again, you'll notice that I have the sine of negative 3 theta over 2. Negative sine theta equals sine negative theta, so I just changed it. That's why we have negative 2 sine of 3 theta over 2 cosine of 19 theta over 2. I would like you to try this one. Press pause, use the formula, and then play to check your solution. So once again, we're going to substitute alpha and beta. And when we do that, we get this as our solution. I would like you to try this one also. Hopefully this is the formula that you used. When you substitute in, you end up with this solution. Thanks for watching.